Hello and welcome to Cancer Research Simplified. My name is Aigun Shahin and thank you for being here. Today we are going to talk about grading of cancer. Tumor size and aggressiveness become critical when determining treatment and prognosis. One way to measure such aggressiveness is cellular differentiation. Cellular differentiation means that a cell acquires step by step the individual characteristics of a mature cell type. To give you a better understanding on this, let's give an example of a birth of a child. At birth, a human infant has approximately 5 trillion cells that are differentiated in 100 different cell types. For example, red blood cells are so differentiated and programmed to transport oxygen and carbon dioxide. White blood cells are so differentiated and programmed so that their job is to destroy foreign organisms out of the body as well as clear up damaged cells. Cancer cells, however, they are poorly differentiated or not differentiated at all and therefore they are immature. A pathology report from biopsy tissue determines how closely cancer cells are similar to normal healthy cells. When a cancer cell is poorly differentiated it means that it has almost no similarity to the normal cell of that particular tissue. When a cancer cell has no similarities to normal cells at all, those cancer cells are undifferentiated. This system of cell differentiation is a way to grade cancer. The higher the grade is, the more undifferentiated, more aggressive and difficult to treat cancer is. National Cancer Institute's grading system has four categories. Grade one is well differentiated, grade 2 moderately differentiated, grade 3 poorly differentiated and grade 4 is undifferentiated. To give you a better understanding on this let's take an example of GBM or glioblastoma multiform, the highly aggressive most deadly brain tumor type in adults. Glioblastoma multiform or GBM is a grade 4 astrocytoma. In addition to grading, cancer can also be categorized by its stages of its development. Cancer can develop over time very slowly but also very rapidly. But cancer can be detected at any stage of its development. Therefore, early detection is so important. Staging allows doctors to determine prognosis and recommend regimen of treatment. The stage of a particular cancer is based on the tumor size, location, and whether it has spread. So let's see the categorization system. Stage 1, the earliest, most curable stage with only local tissue involvement. Stage 2. Cancer has spread to surrounding tissues and perhaps to a nearby lymph node. Stage 3. Cancer metastasized to a distant lymph node. Stage 4. Cancer has spread into distant organs or other parts of the body. This stage is the most advanced stage and is difficult to treat. Another staging system is the TNM staging system, which involves tumor size, the lymph node, and the metastases. So T means the size of the tumor and whether it's invaded into a nearby tissue. N means whether a nearby lymph node is involved and M means metastases whether the cancer has been spread to distance organs or parts of the body which we just mentioned. So let's give an example of this. 
For example, if a breast cancer has a T2, N1 and M0, what does that mean? So let's do this together. T means the tumor size and whether surrounding tissues are involved. And if T2 means a moderate size tumor. N1, N was whether a local lymph node is involved. And N1 means yes, there is a local lymph node involved. M0 means no, no metastases. The cancer has not been spread anywhere else within the body. There is also another description called TIS, which means T in C2. And that means the primary tumor has not invaded into a nearby tissue. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.